Hi, welcome back to Dimension Analysis Review. So we are going to review the uh, below problem from the book survey. Um, so yes, mm, so the question uh, is each of the following equations was given by a student during an examination. So we have to do a dimension analysis of each of the equation and uh, we have to uh, check basically whether this equation is correct using dimension analysis. So this is one of the ways uh, dimension analysis is very, very useful. So the first equation here is half mv square equal to half mv naught square plus root mgh, root mgh. So we have to check whether this is um, true or consistent. So one way of uh, one way of uh, checking whether the equation is correct is by um, checking whether it is consistent, dimensionally consistent. So we have to check for um, dimension consistency. All right, so yes, so the dimension of um, mass is um, mass, so we this is mass anyway, and so does this one, so we have a dimension, and remember, numbers do not have any dimension, so, um, so the dimension of your one half on both these equations is basically nothing. So we can uh, leave off those out of the equation. And then we have um, dimension. You have a dimension over here. We'll come back to the signs. And then we have a velocity. So what is the dimension of a velocity? Velocity is nothing but distance over time. And distance is uh, basic is a length, so therefore you have length over time. And so we can rewrite our velocity as length time inverse because it's in the denominator. When you bring this up, you have to uh, change the sign of, of its exponent. So it becomes from positive one, it becomes negative one. All right. So we are going to. Um, incorporate that on our equation so let me just okay. so yeah so on the left hand side you have mass and we have velocity so I'm going to just write it in terms of um, the fraction and since it's a square you have to incorporate the square as well so this is square so on the left hand side you have mass L square and T of negative 2. Alright. On to your uh, right hand side. So right hand side you have uh, 1 by 2 which has no dimension again and then we have mass velocity. This is for initial velocity. So um, it's basically velocity again. So therefore, you have the same equation going on. So L divided by T, the whole square. So that again translates to mass. So pretty consistent as of now. You can see the consistency. You have M, M, uh, M, L square, T square, and you have um, same thing going on over here. So, but what about this final um, equation? So, what's what's happening with this one? So, this is a square root. So, we are going to rewrite this um, as mgh the whole to the power half. So, that's another way of writing the square root. We can use that analogy. So, let's just go down a bit. So, I'm going to... Um, find out what is mgh the whole um, to the power half so m is mass so therefore the dimension is mass g is acceleration due to gravity acceleration due to gravity if you remember is a velocity divided by time so l um, t 
20 square so bring that up over here you have length okay um, I need some space there Right back. So MGH the whole to the power half. So mass has um, the dimension of mass, and then you have G, which is acceleration due to gravity, and acceleration is uh, velocity divided by time, and you have L um, T and T. So therefore, you have a square over there. So dimension of gravity acceleration to gravity is l t to the power negative 2 so yeah so l t to the power negative 2 looking good so far but then you have height so height is um height is length basically you're measuring length again so you have length so this length and this length can be multiplied i mean same base and uh, so therefore they can be multiplied and you have mass length square and then you have t to the power negative 2 so but then you also have the square root so apply that and you get m to the power half l um, because square and square root cancels out and then you get just l and t to the power negative one all right so if you um incorporate that so let's see if i can so So we can copy that out and then you have half length t to the power negative one which is not consistent with the um with the rest of the equation so therefore this is wrong dimensionally it's wrong so the form if the dimension is wrong the formula is also um not correct so that would be our first equation and the second equation is um, this one b um, equal to v naught plus half a t squared so let's do um, that one so the second equation is v naught i'm um, sorry v is equal to v naught plus half um, plus half a t squared minus half a t just a t squared okay so a t squared um v is velocity so length um time inverse equal to v naught is also uh, velocity length time inverse and then you have um a which is acceleration and we got we, we saw that acceleration is length time to the power t, um, t to the power uh, time to the power negative 2 times you have this one going on so t to the power um, square now um, this boils down so this one is basically t to the power negative 2 plus 2 so this one goes um, to 0 anything to the power 0 is 1 so therefore you're left only with um, plus l whereas you have um, l sorry t to the power negative 1 and then you had l t to the power negative 1 so two of the um, equations uh, two of the formulas are consistent but one of them is not consistent but the overall equation is not consistent so not consistent so therefore this is a wrong formula again and the final one is m is equal to v square so mass times acceleration is equal to v square so mass times acceleration 
equal to v square so that's our equation to be analyzed and if you look carefully um, mass is has a dimension of mass acceleration has a dimension l to the power t to negative 2 v is length time inverse so um, length t to the power negative 1 the whole square so if I um, so L square to the power negative 2 um, so this is again not consistent because we see that there is no M on uh, the left hand side and L to the power is 1 here whereas L to the, L, the power of L is 2 so therefore again this is not consistent so this uh, means um, the equation is not correct all right so um, this is how we have to proceed with dimension analysis and to check whether the formula are correct or not thank you for watching as always if you have any questions or anything that you have any doubts you can leave your um, suggestions on the comment box below or you can email me the dis uh, email is in the description box um, thank you so much for watching have a good day bye